How's it going you wonderful people, it's Jay and in today's video I'm going to show you how to hook up Spotify with OBS. It's super quick, super simple, so let's do it. So sometimes you may be playing music on Spotify, you may want to show the audio info on the screen, you may be doing something like just chatting, you may be doing something creative, you maybe even want to have a Twitch radio station. It's all possible with a little plugin for OBS called Tuna. And the best part of Tuna is you don't need to have a separate app running. Once you've set it up in OBS one time, you're all good to go. So the first thing you need to do is visit the link below, click download, and then select the version you need. It supports Windows, Mac, or Linux. So download your installer. You may get a message from Windows Defender when you're trying to run it, but it's all good, it's all clean, and good to install. So then launch OBS, click on Tools, and then Tuna Settings, and under Song Info Outputs, click on add new. So for the song info path you need to select a folder. So in this folder there will be a little text file that stores your song info. So it could be your, your documents folder or your download folder, anywhere you want on your PC. So then below that you need to specify how you want the text to be shown on your stream. So if you see my current one I have it set to something like now playing colon song title by artists. You can have it in any way you want. All the instructions are on the screen so you can have all sorts of different variables. If you want to also have a placeholder message when your Spotify is stopped or paused or nothing playing then you can also add it below something like you know no song is playing, boo, whatever you want. It's all optional of course and then you can select your source. So Tuna supports various different sources. Today we're going to be looking at Spotify but it also supports VLC as well. Then you need to put how often it refreshes. So I put 500 milliseconds, which is like half a second. So every half a second, it will connect to um, Spotify and check what song's playing. If your copy of Tuna is not running, then just click on this start button here, and that will launch Tuna. The next thing you need to do is go into the Spotify settings. So it is quick, it looks a bit fiddly, but it, you only need to do it once. So click on open login. This will take you to the Tuna login page. Just agree to the terms and conditions and click on continue. You may be asked to log into your Spotify if you're not logged in already. Once you're, you've gone through that, you should get a little success screen like this. Of course, I've blurred it out. I don't want to share my token, but you just copy what's in the box and then you paste it into the authentication code box in OBS. Once that's in place, click on request token and that generates a little token to connect to Spotify and that's it. You're done. So every time you play a song on Spotify, whether it's the web version or desktop version, or even on your phone, it will automatically update the little text file with your song data. So all you need to do now is add that little song data as a bit of text on your stream. So to do that, click on add new source and click on text. Then click on read from the read from file checkbox and then browse for your text file. So go find it on your PC, wherever you put that text file grab that file and then you can play around with the different font settings and size and all that kind of stuff and then pop it on your stream. So now whenever I play a Spotify song like so, you'll see that in a second it updates and shows the now playing song and that's all automatic. So as you play new songs, it will just keep on updating forever. So there we go, a super quick way to hook up Spotify with OBS to enhance your streams. If you guys have any technical questions, be sure to leave a comment below or in the Tech Help channel on our Discord and I'll do my best to help you out. We also have a little playlist with all sorts of tech videos, all sorts of stream tips and tricks. Links are somewhere up here and somewhere in the description. Be sure to check it out. And if you like this video, if you found it useful, be sure to hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, more Nintendo geeky retro videos, you may want to subscribe. And before we move on to the next video, be sure to check out our exclusive merch, Geeky and Gaming Designs, voted for by you. Thank you so much for your support. Links are below. So, Spotify, OBS, super simple. Hope you guys found this video useful and we'll see you in the next one. Toodaloo!